subject is female. It looks like a mature young adult. Still early, very quiet. Not, uh, not moving at all. A little head roll.
Simon Fraser University Center for Dialogue and a honeybee biologist. What I've learned from the study of bees about nuance, context, and communication led to my current interests around dialogue. I'm Holly Middleton. I earned my master's degree from Simon Fraser University researching the behavior of American dippers. Dippers are fascinating stream birds What's because they're really fascinating about to this uh, collaboration with dancers one above between water the opportunity and one below, to work with which people remind me of the two planes in classical ballet. Relevate and plea. And even different languages. 
the process to me has been far more important than the uh, final outcome. I've never thought of myself as particularly graceful. The bees that I study are moving effortlessly bees are like us, <laughs> being social, from one being highly interactive, like us have profound impact. The movement of a diving to Paris and inspiration is a dense and the perfect pathway of their spine when they dive is as my spine should be when I jump to the speed. Without collaboration, collegiality, and common purpose.
sun valley are tiny, brilliantly colored algae that live inside coral. Providing photosynthesis in return for shelter. Together, Together two, two life forms create one organism that is both plant and animal. Increasing sea temperatures are creating a battlefield on which corals are fighting to survive. A desperate defensive. Corals expel their zooxanthellae. Reefs bleach, turning a lifeless, ominous, white.
We sailed off for Gallipoli. How well I remember that terrible day when our blood stained the sand and the water. And how in that hell that they called Suvla Bay we were butchered like lambs at a slaughter. Johnny Turkey was waiting, he primed himself well. He showered us with bullets and rained us with shell. And in five minutes flat, he'd blown us to hell. Nearly blew us right back to Australia. And the band played waltzing Matilda as we stopped to bury the slain. We buried ours, and the Turks buried them. Then we started all over again. They collected the crippled, the wounded, and maimed, and they sent us back home to Australia. The armless, the legless, the blind and insane, all the proud wounded heroes of Suvla. And as our ship sailed into Circular Key, I looked at the place where my legs used to be, and thank Christ there was nobody waiting for me to grieve and to mourn and to pity. But the band played waltzing Matilda as they carried us down the gangway. But nobody cheered, they just stood there and stared, and then turned their faces away. Each week, the 
dancers return with new ways to physicalize our discussion. I remember being astounded at how beautifully the dancers expressed our ideas. Symbiosis on a coral reef became an important metaphor for 